Uh, quarter past the hour now. Uh, I've got some pictures I want to show you. Uh, pictures of Africa's western black rhino. Our views of these rhinos will now be limited to just this for the most part. Pictures or maybe old videos like this one. Because the world's largest conservation network says the western black rhino is now extinct in the wild. The northern white rhino on the brink of extinction as well. That's just some of the bad news from the International Union for Conservation of Nature, the IUCN. It recently reviewed 60,000 species. It's an undercover story that we think deserves a little more attention. And James Deutsch has dedicated his life to saving wildlife. He's the director of the Africa program for the Wildlife Conservation Society. With us from New York, the black rhino here, is that it? Can't find one in the wild anywhere? That's it, they're all gone. I mean. I think we knew they were on their way out, but it's a depressing day. Okay, how long does it take for something like this to actually happen so we get to the point where you can say there are no more in the wild? There have to be real surveys that have gone out and, and double-checked where, where the last rhinos were found, and, and we have to be 100% sure. In this case, we're completely sure they're gone. Okay, now, people who are watching this and would say, okay, that's, that's too bad, but I assume there are other species of rhinos out there, and, you know, rhinos not playing a role in my everyday life. What's the significance of one species being gone? You know, this is, uh, this is the canary in the coal mine because rhinos are big. Um, everybody's heard of them. When they go extinct, we hear about it, but there are thousands of species going extinct every year that we don't hear about. And many of those are really important to our lives, uh, whether it's bumblebees in the United States and bats in the United States or sharks in the world's oceans. Um, a lot of species that make a big difference to us are going fast. Okay, is this not a matter of just natural evolution and just the way things go? Species come and go, or do human beings have a lot to do with this? Species come and go, and, and about five or six times in the, in the ancient past, they've gone when meteors have landed on Earth. But species are actually going extinct faster now as a result of us, as a result of human action on the globe than at any other time in history. Are we not doing enough to save these species? Is the will not there to save these species? What is it? Um, I think the will isn't there, the consensus isn't there. You know, it's no accident that this species that's gone extinct is a species which is prized for one part of it, that is the horn, um, to Asia, to the Middle East, um, species which are subject to a global trade in wildlife parts. Those are among the species at greatest risk. Now, and you can save them. There are efforts that have been underway. We've talked about the, uh, the, the white rhino, I believe, was one example, but some of the efforts that we're seeing on the screen right now to relocate, to put them into a habitat that's more favorable to them. But this takes a lot of manpower. This takes a lot of money. I assume it takes a lot of time as well, but we can save them. Um, we can save them. We can, we can make heroic efforts after a species has been wiped out of the wild to put it back. But, you know, that's actually not the most sensible and cost-effective way to do it. Mm. The most sensible and cost-effective way to do it is to create national parks and protected areas and to get in and save the habitat first. It's a lot cheaper, and you save thousands and thousands of species and a whole ecosystem on which a whole community depends instead of just jumping in and spending a fortune on one species. Well, no doubt an undercover story, and I know one that you spend so much of your time with um, that a lot of us maybe don't pay enough attention to, but this one certainly got a lot of our attention. We'll be talking about it plenty more throughout the days and weeks and certainly this weekend as well. James Deutsch, we appreciate your time.